the theoretical part of the installation. Why I must do this is for us to get familiar with the frequency. Like I said, we we'll have to get familiar with the transponder. Transponder. Though the transponder com comprises of the frequency, symbol rate, and the polarization. So, a complete transposer will have this as, let's take for instance, 12525, horizontal, 27500. 27, this is a complete transponder. So, why we have to embark on? Uh, we we have to follow the, the, the theoretical process. The, the theoretical process of this is for us to know the transponder for each of the satellites we are finding. So, that's why I listed this. So that we are going to make use of all this information in our practical aspect of the installation. Because they both are interwoven, they can't do without. So you can't find, you can't, you can't go and track signal without the knowledge of the frequency and the symbol rate and uh, the, 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 the symbol rate and the polarization of that particular uh, 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 satellite, and also the satellite itself. Even this one is even more important because each of the channel, for you to track them, you must have this. Because each of the channel have their frequency, their uh, polarization, and their symbol rate. So we we'll now proceed to first of all, for you to involve, uh, for you to go into dish installation, you must follow this process. First, coupling of dish. Two, installation of dish, then three, the configuration. So we will start off, we will start with the coupling. And the fourth stage, which is more important, are, is the tools, the necessary tools. Because you can't do without the tools. So I will even first of all start with the tools. Because that is what we tell if your work will be successful or not. So in, in uh, dish installation, generally, we know you have to come with your satellite finder, which are the meters. They come in different categories, the manual and the digital. Secondly, your normal handy tools, which are the spanner, the cutter, the screwdriver, the armor, the knife. You must have all this handy. Then the third stage is the dish itself. The decoder, that is the receiver. The receiver, 
the dish and its accessories. So, all these have to be available. So, I've not talked about the tools. We will now go to coupling of the dish, which is the first step. I will start by coupling the dish. Like I said, your handy tool have to be available. I will start with the knife. So, these are the accessories for the dish. This is the rod. These two are the support structure. They make the rod stand firm. That is, if you are mounting the rod to the wall or your roof, it is through the support structure that the rod can stand on the wall firmly. Then, these are the nuts. And it also has the LMB holder. This is the angular ion. This is the base. That is the one that stands under the, uh, the rod. So, this one is also called a support structure. This is the arm. They also call it the elbow. This is the one that holds the LMB. So, I will start by coupling and with my spanner. So, I'm not coupling the dish. In coupling, this arrow must face opposite the L shape. The L shape will go like this, while the arrow will go this way. So, this is the first one you must put. So, like I said, the arrow will go this way, while the elbow will go this way. So it's always advisable that your spanner has to be in pairs. So if you must have your spanner, it's good you have it in pairs. In case of when you are tightening the is not that its base is not holding the iron. And each time you tight, your tight your knot, it has to be firm. Very, very firm. So this is the LMB holder. Like I said, 
your spanner has to be in place so that when you are tightening something like this if it's not in here you may not be able to make it firm so this is our lmb the low noise band So if you watch closely, you know that coupling of this is very easy. This stage, you may not tie this frame because a time will come when you are tracking your signal, you will have to rotate, turn, the LMB clockwise or anti-clockwise. So, so I now attach this to the dish. So, So first of all, put this diagonally so that it will open. So when it open, I can now, that is the second notch and bolt. this a little so that you can balance it and flush
So, since I've connected all the DC, I can now tie it firmly. So, so here you can put it in this O if you want it to be very, if you want it to be 90 degree. Or you can put it here if you want it not to be 90 degree. But any of the two will work. So, I will have to put it here. Okay, so this is the hook. So we are now done with coupling of the D. So this is how the dish should look like. You can see. So the next stage now is to track the signal. Okay, gentlemen, I'm done with coupling of the dish. Like I said, we are tracking the normal. FTA, which is the free to hair. So, this is a cast pipe. You can see the pipe is casted on the ground. So, I am using the pipe as my for my rod. That's me. That's me. Number two.